Yo, yo, what's going on, everyone? Evil Sin here, and today we are playing some more World War Dell. But before we do anything, we recently just hit 340 subscribers. Now, legit, that is amazing. Like, we were just at 300 just like a week or so ago. I want to thank you guys so much for, you know, just, you know, hitting that subscribe button. You know, taking the time out of your day just to do that. You guys are legit amazing. Thank you guys so much. And I promise you, from the bottom of my heart, I will never stop making videos for you guys. I will continuously keep on making content for you. But yes, this is what we're doing in today's video. You guys probably saw from the title. We are Well, whenever we get into the game here. Um, I already made a... Uh, a cycle deck for Rex, and I, it's a little bit different, but this is what we're going to be trying to do, okay? Um, we have uh, Freeze Trap, we have the Dough Barrel, which is going to come in handy. It's, I'm going to tell you when I'm all done with uh, telling you what the cards are. We have the, the Freeze Trap Dough Barrel, uh, we have Grievel, Rex, and uh, Minimander, and uh, Spell Rod, Caveman, and then Jetpack. Now listen here, guys. Now, you guys probably know if you guys use Grievel, and I, I know I've been using Grievel for a lot of my videos recently, but um, in today's video, we're going to see how much Rexes we can cycle in this deck. And if it works pretty good, then that means that this deck is pretty solid. Like, the only reason I think it's going to work is because, you know, I, I am pretty comfortable with Mini Manor and Grievel already, same with Caveman and the Freeze Trap, but... Since we're throwing in that dough barrel, we're going to have way more dough than usual, okay? So if we can cycle a lot of, you know, Rex eggs or even some dough barrels we can throw down. And, you know, if we can get a couple more Grievals on the ground as well, this will go pretty smooth. So let's see if this deck will work. It's a 2.8 dough cost. So if you guys do want to try this on your devices at home, comment down below and let me know if this deck works for you as well, okay? So here we go. Let's see if this deck is going to work. This guy's a level 9, and I'm not even going to say his name because his name is pretty inappropriate. So, uh, whatever. Let's just go. And, let's just see how good this guy is. Alright, let's take out uh, the buck right there. We just took out the mad scientist. Okay, so he just took our rack stag out. This guy's pretty smart. So this is going to be a little challenging match. Oh, okay. So he has a rack stag as well. So let's go over there to drop that down. There we go. I love taking out the Rex egg before, you know, the, the mini Rex comes out. It's so perfect. Okay, so he has a Mr. Boom. He has a level 11 Mr. Boom. Okay, I gotta give this guy some props because Mr. Boom is really good, you know. He's definitely worth it, you know. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like that he should be a little bit, like, decreased in dough cost. Maybe, like, four. I mean, maybe he'll be, like, even better if he's four dough cost. Because five dough cost is a little bit too much. You know, that's why I like using Rex. Because Rex is four dough cost. And I think that's perfect. You know? And, um, I do have uh, another idea. Like, a card suggestion. Like, you know how we have the witch, right? Now, I'm, I thought last night... I was like, what if for another air troop, now hear me out guys, hear me out, I know we have another witch, but this witch would be different. Now you know how the witch that we have now, like right when it dies, uh, it does the curse damage, but what if this witch, it's the opposite, okay, it curses things. But uh, it, it, it's called the Wicked Witch, and it'd be an air troop. It flies in the air on a broomstick, and obviously it's it's ripping off uh, um, Wizard of Oz, the Wicked Witch. But imagine that, though. Like, you could call it the Wicked Witch or just just the Wicked. Like, I, I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Like, um, it, it'd just be, like, lots of different stuff. Obviously, it wouldn't be a copycat of the witch it could do something else like the curse could be green instead of purple you know what i mean like it could have different effects but uh, also maybe have a different ability if you guys can come up with a different idea comment down below if you guys like that wicked witch idea i feel like that'd be pretty cool to add you know for an era troop and it could be like an epic instead of like a legendary because obviously the witch would be better and i just thought of this since it's on the top of my head i don't want it to go away now think of this now you know how the helicopter has a like a beam that shuts down towers now imagine the broomstick on the wicked witch it beams on units like any units and like it sends like a small curse and it slowly drains the people like in like an inferno tower in clash royale like i feel like like that that could work out 
like it, like the beam comes out of the broomstick that that the wicked witch is riding. I feel like that could actually work. Like obviously it doesn't shut down like the the like the helicopter, but it, I feel like that would work. Like if you work for Jam City or if you guys really like this idea for the wicked witch, I feel like that this would work out perfectly. But uh, also, you know, my my like obviously like my ideas aren't gonna be added, but I feel like that would be such a cool card to be in the game. But uh, if you guys want to brainstorm with me right now, like if you're brainstorming right now, literally, comment down below and give me some of your deck suggestions. And maybe in the future, uh, someone that works for Jam City could see your comment. And, and hopefully, if you are working for Jam City and you are watching this right now and like that Wicked Witch idea, please uh, comment down below or, you know, pass this idea on to the staff or, you know, whoever... You know puts this, the cards into the game because I feel like that would be perfect and I also thought about you know um, like a potion like that that we could add like obviously uh, we have spells but we could have potions that the commanders uh, that the commander could drink and we can also splash it on like other troops as well and then we could probably you know make make uh, potions that are for commander only and uh, troop only and I feel like we could do a lot for that as well. All right. I, I, I'm going to try and focus right here because I, I don't want to uh, lose my second match. I know that we won that first one, but I want to see how good this is going to go in our second match. But uh, still, like, I'm like, I've been brainstorming a lot recently because, you know, there's the, there's been a lot of cards recently being, being added into the game. And I just cannot wait to see what the, what the future holds for this game. Because this game is definitely the future. And if you guys, you know, don't think that, that, you know, that's just probably because, you know, you're playing Clash Royale. But the thing is, you know, Clash Royale is slowly dying off. And it's not the best that it used to be. But it, it, it's still good. Like, the game is still really good. But it's just, it's been the same game for such a long time. And the thing about World War Do is it's so different and, like, Everything changes when like a new update comes, you know, it just doesn't feel like it's the same game You know what I'm saying? Like it feels like the game is getting better as the updates progress But uh, with Clash Royale with the updates like okay the updates coming and then the update comes and you're like Oh, this don't even feel different. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that's why I think you know War War Doe is definitely the future for you know uh, 2020 is definitely uh, Wilbur Doe's um, time to shine, and I feel I hope, hopefully, you know, it, it does get its time to shine because the developers and the creators of Wilbur Doe, um, you know, they definitely made a masterpiece. And we're about to win right here. Like legit, this guy basically gave up. He he like ran right into our tower. Like like white flag, dude, just kill me. But uh, yeah, like the creators of this game really did a good job making it. And, you know, I, I got to give them a nice pat on the back. Like, they, they they did such a good job in everything that they do. Like, they talk to their community, and they're so good at, like, communicating. Like, pro probably not the best, but, like, they're way better than what Clash Royale does. Because I feel like after a while, Clash Royale uh, and Supercell, like, they stopped communicating with their fan base. And, you know, the fan base is what's making your game good. So, like, legit, like, listen to your fan base. You know, like, those are the people playing the game. You know, that those are the people that got you uh, to be popular. Like, like, you know, you know what I mean? But uh, anyways, this is our third match right here. This is, he's from Dark Side. Oh, no, of, of course. He abandoned the match. But I think we we would have got a, um, a chest anyway. Let's see if we get a chest. Because sometimes, if it lags out, you still get a chest. Oh, look at that. I got medals for it. <laughs> I'll take the free trophies. Oh my god, that happens to me all the time, guys. You guys probably noticed that as well. It's like, why did I get a free freaking chest from doing that? But uh, yeah, I, I think it's just a glitch in the server because like the match is about to start. And basically the opponent backed out at the last second. So that's their fault. So uh, here we go, we're reversing level 8. And also, I'm almost level 10, guys. I'm like 20 or like 30 away from getting 
um, a level 10. And uh, I've been level 9 for so long. And, um, it, like, another thing that, like, makes War of different than other games is when you're leveling up, it takes so long. And uh, it's definitely worth the wait as well because you have to get XP. And then on the other hand, you have to get commander cards. And you have to get so much commander cards, and it's so hard to get them. But uh, it's definitely worth it because you get them from the event. So you get like 10 every day or like 10 per event. And then you can also get them in the loot in the Tower of Fleet, I think. Or maybe they took them out. But uh, still, like, sometimes it feels like it's so long to level up. But, you know, right when you get there, you know, it feels like a big accomplishment. You know, and it's definitely worth, you know, getting there. No, Rex. That, they're Rex legit. Almost took the whole tower out by himself. I gotta give him some credit right there. We gotta take out take out that rise shell Pete. Perfect. And, and then we froze that uh, caveman. I think it's caveman. Oh no, it's not. It's uh, it's a mini rack. That's what that is. We can drop over here. Hopefully he doesn't drop a uh, a witch or something. Perfect. We took that whole tower down with that drop. Take out that Catlin gun. Perfect. Oh my gosh. No! Dude! Okay, perfect! My Rex came out just in time. I thought he was gonna break it. Okay, the, the Choppa is legit coming, and I have to take him out. Okay, there we go. No, don't take out my, uh, my, my Rex. And another uh, thing about this game as well is like the small details within this game. Like if you guys did not know, it's pretty obvious, but like the caveman, obviously, you know, the caveman and uh, the dinosaurs were together. Like if you look at uh, the caveman's uh, back or like his hat or what he's wearing, he's wearing a dead Rex carcass on his back. And I think that's pretty funny as well. Like... The, direct, uh, the directors and the content creators really put a lot of thought into, it, like, everything. We got, this guy's got 20 seconds to come back, and I, I really don't think this guy has has enough to, uh, to take down a tower or my commander. Like, this guy is not coming back at all. It, it, this, like, we are cranking out so much dough, it's actually pretty, pretty insane. Dude, oh my gosh, dude, just give up. Just give up. How is he not dead? What? How did he not die right there? That was insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go into another match. That was our third win. Now we're going into our fourth match. I normally don't do four matches, but that's just because, you know, I know some of you like to see some long matches, and that's what I'm doing. So if you guys do want to see some short ones, comment down below, and then I'll make some short videos. But uh, yes, I know some of you do like the long videos, so that's why I'm doing it. But uh, here we go. This is our fourth fourth match. This is a guy named uh, Richos from Doe Runners. So shout out to him. Let's see if this guy can uh, beat me with this deck. We are on a 3-0 win right now. This guy's a level 10? Okay. Dough barrel is down. Now we have two dough barrels. Perfect. So much dough. No! This guy's got the invisibility. He placed it on his witch. Okay. Good. We sacrificed that witch's, uh, the caveman's life for um, the witch. Because, you know, you really don't want that, that curse damage going on to... Uh, your tower because that really does drain your tower's health. Okay, we gotta take out that buck and that um Oh no! Oh my gosh, okay. We gotta do, we gotta do this all very quickly. Ooh, run away, run away, run away. We could die right now, guys. Our winning streak could end. Did I waste that uh my health? Okay, good. The curse went right away, right when I did that. Because if you guys did not know, I'm, I'm going to say it just just because I don't want to forget. But uh, do not heal up right after you get cursed. You want to wait, okay? Unless you know you're going to die and you know you're going to die. But uh, wait a little bit because, because if you do your health thing right at the beginning, you will legit waste your health 
and then it'll go all the way back down again, and it'll just... You'll just be doing it for nothing and you'll still lose, okay? You just want to make sure that you do it at the proper time. Oh, come on. That witch needs to die. Same with that mad scientist. Alright, caveman right there. Take care of the witch. I can probably go over there and I can take out that mad scientist if I can. Ooh, okay. Let's just go and do that. I'm pretty scared right now. I really don't want to lose this uh, fourth match. This deck is going pretty good so far. This guy's got, um... Oh, what is it? The buck thing. Like, that's such a new card. I cannot wait until I get the new cards, guys. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. There's so much new cards I want to play with, and I cannot wait to make videos on them. And hopefully you guys can't wait either. Like, I cannot wait to get the Spell Lab, too. Uh, like, I'm pretty excited for that, but... If you guys did not see, you have to really save up a lot of dough shards. So, if you guys are uh, saving up on bananas, make sure that you uh, that you do the Tower of Loot because those bananas don't always uh, last forever. They'll go away if you don't use them. Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. I'm legit almost dead. Oh my gosh, we have eight seconds left. My left tower is almost gone, and his left tower is almost gone. But we legit might lose. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, 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 come on. Oh, my God, we got it. Oh, my gosh, guys. That was such a nail biter. Oh, my God. Okay, I think I'm going to end the video with this nice victory. This was definitely a fun video to make. This is a fun deck to play with. You know, it definitely um, produces dough very quickly. And um, I want to I wanna make sure that... Make sure that you drop the dough barrel card because if you guys don't, then you're basically just wasting a slot that, that could be something else, okay? So try this deck out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Evil Sin. Peace out.